Live from deep within an actual astronomer's head, it's Ask an Astronomy Brain Parasite. Hi, you're watching Ask an Astronomy Brain Parasite, the show where we tap into an actual scientist's brain to bring you science. Wah wah. Wah wah. What's today's question? Wah wah. Why are astronauts weightless in space? Isn't there gravity up there? <laughs> now this is a tricky one. You see, astronauts aren't actually weightless up there. They only appear weightless. And there's a very interesting reason why that might surprise you. Let's break it down. First of all, there is definitely gravity in space. A lot of it. Take the Earth. Its gravity is so powerful, even as far out as the moon, that it holds the moon in orbit so that it can't leave. And the moon is much further from the Earth than the area around the Earth where astronauts appear weightless. And frankly, Earth's gravity is powerful even much further out. Gravity doesn't end, it gets weaker with distance, but it keeps going. At this very moment, the gravity of planet Earth is tugging at stars and planets and distant galaxies. And they are tugging on the Earth right back. That's how powerful and far-reaching gravity is. And everything out there has gravity. The other planets, moons, asteroids, never mind the sun, which is the largest source of gravity in our solar system. So with all this gravity everywhere, why do astronauts appear weightless? When we launch astronauts up into orbit, why don't they fall right back down to Earth? Or into the sun, for that matter? It's for the same reason that the moon doesn't smash into the Earth. Or the Earth doesn't get pulled into the sun along with all the other planets. All of these objects are basically in free fall. And when you're falling, you feel weightless. Think about skydivers. When they're falling, they look a lot like weightless astronauts floating around, don't they? Or better yet, imagine being in an elevator. When an elevator begins moving down, you feel a little lighter. If you're in a fast-moving express elevator, you notice it even more. And if there were no elevator cable, you would feel completely weightless. At that point, pushing off from the ground would cause you to float around like an astronaut, at least until you hit the ceiling or the elevator hit the ground. Astronauts appear weightless because they too are in free fall. If we put an astronaut up above the Earth and released him, he would fall right back down. But let's say we put him up there and gave him a shove sideways. He would still fall towards the Earth, but he'd also move in the direction we shoved him, so he'd end up over here. He'd basically fall in an arc over the surface of the planet. And this is a constant process. Since there's no air resistance in space, he wouldn't slow down. At any given point, he'd still have all of his motion going in one direction, and he'd still be pulled toward the Earth by gravity. So he'd keep falling in a circle around the entire planet over and over. It's a free fall that could keep going for a very long time. This is exactly what's happening everywhere in the universe. And I mean everywhere. Astronauts in orbit are falling around the Earth. The moon is falling around the Earth. The Earth's falling around the sun. The sun and all the other stars in our galaxy are falling around each other in the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Our galaxy is falling around other galaxies in our local cluster, which in turn, yeah, well, you get the idea. The bottom line is there's really no place you can go that isn't affected by gravity. Everywhere in the universe, everybody and everything is always falling towards something. And if it doesn't feel like you're falling, it's only because you're standing on something else that is falling. And that is why astronauts appear weightless in space. Thanks for watching. Wah wah, the show's over. Let's shut her down. Wah wah. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope is managed by Caltech Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Astronomers do not actually wear white lab coats, except maybe the weird ones. No astronomers were harmed in the making of this video. His brain will be turned back on shortly. <laughs>